It's not really a clone, and it's not really an elephant, and it's not really a mammoth. A ma mammothant, mam mammothants, mam mammelephants. One of the ideas that I think is ethically important to consider is the notion of restorative justice. If it is true that, for example, we cause the extinction of things like woolly mammoths and saber-tooths and ground sloths and hundreds of other species, do we have some kind of continuing responsibility to bring them back? But you can't stop there. It's not enough just to bring them back. You have considerations of what are you going to do with them. Where you put the products of de-extinction, if I can put it that way, is a very interesting question. Because the only kind of comparable situation we have is importing wild beasts from Africa or Asia to this country. And where do they go? They go to zoos, they go to game parks, which just makes them hothouse plants. They're not really being reintegrated into any existing ecology, any set of environmental circumstances. There is no choice but to provision them, that is to say, to feed them, to take care of them, to put them in a safe place for the whole of their natural existence. Northern Siberia is not like it was 10,000 years ago. Now it's in what's called wet tundra, which is largely dominated by mosses. If you put the elephants there, you've got to take care of them. Otherwise, they all die. And then you've spent whatever it is that you've spent, a zillion dollars, and you have nothing to show for it. Uh, the cost of a project like this is really hard to estimate. Uh, a lot of the techniques that are being used can be done on a bench top in any lab, but the, the sequencing of the mammoth genome and uh, the sequencing of the elephant genome, those all have huge costs appended to them. And there's also a huge cost appended to uh, injecting that modified genome into an egg and then getting that to grow up. If you want me to throw a number at you, maybe a billion dollars. I have no real ideas. Putting that much money into uh, resurrecting one species is really seems to me to be misguided to a certain extent. It's just inconceivable to me that we would want to utilize adult female elephants to bring these hybrids to term. So what George Turch is, is thinking about is creating artificial wombs. Well, sure, under these circumstances can we expect woolly mammoths by the end of the decade? I'm much more dubious about that, but I know that Church and his colleagues are very keen to show that this can be done. And then the conversation will come along in a much different way. It sounds like mad science to imagine that we can create organisms at will. The extinction is a very small part of this larger synthetic biology package. And that's, I think, the most important thing I can possibly say. Do not fear the future, but grasp it.